16 for the Midland finale. As I said, we have char characters such as uh, Zanati and uh, Will. This was the ones I went for. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we are starting off here with two, uh, one of Knots, as, as we now claim because Darby doesn't exist. Uh, we claim Lewis and we're starting off against Nia, who is one of uh, Lincoln's uh, top seeds today. Mm -hmm. I think this is uh, a bit of an interesting one to start out with. You know, a very, very atypical character like uh, Min Min straight out of the gate. Ooh, and a bit ah, of a dicey situation for yeah. him out of the gate a very early stock. Nia getting some nice momentum. But if there's anything I understand about Mitra, it's they very much can kind of bring that back very quickly. Yeah, uh, Pirate Mithra is definitely a character that has the comeback mechanic you know, as we've all known for a lot of DLC, they always have the combat mechanic. The combat mechanic on Prime Mithra is that she is one. Uh, <laughs> she has these great combo strings, strong moves, great frame data, and all she's looking for is oppression. Uh, but the thing that uh, Nira is going to be looking for is exactly like that. The one thing this character does fall short on is off stage, and with a character like uh, Min Min, with all these arms and the various lasers and uh, the chakra that they also have access to, it is very, very hard for Lewis to get back to stage. Yeah, it is looking a little bit tough so far, but we've seen a character go off stage two times in this set so far, and, and we've seen a death both times as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it's, it's it's exactly what they can do. It's You have to essentially be suffocating Min Min to not give them a chance to get you off stage in the first place. Uh, you need to be taking control of this game. You can't really play campy against them as much as you want, as some people tend to do. Uh, you want to be, you need to be suffocating them. Uh, Passive needs to find an opening here and needs to get a stock as quick as possible to get some momentum swinging in their favor. Yeah. It's, it's very much, you know, classically that same kind of thing as like a like Dalton or an Axel, where it's, they actually do have some really, really fantastic oppressive options in that close range. And like that, catch. immediate. A down smash barely connecting, perfectly positioned from Parsnip, really catching you off guard. Yeah. But the off stage. And they and immediate again. Immediate jump up with the laser, I love that from Three Nia. Three off stage situations, instantly killing every single time. Yeah. Impressive stuff straight out of the game yeah. from Nia. Really a damn, uh, damn good statement first game uh, to open things up, because that was, not bad by any means on when Parsnip was actually playing the neutral interactions, but they were getting completely eviscerated as soon as uh, they were in that offstage. That, like you said, yeah. you know, Pyramithra kind of struggled a little bit with that situation, and it seems like Neo is absolutely on the ball in uh, making the most out of every single opportunity they get. Yeah, no, the, uh, these were played a fair few times, so Neo is fairly familiar with uh, uh, Pyramithra's uh, strengths and weaknesses, obviously fully aware that that uh, mm -hmm. That weakness is, is the offstage, and Min Min just has so many options. You can, you can uh, cheese them out with a, a chart frame. You can re like as we saw there, a huge offstage read with the laser because you can angle the laser. Um, so it's not an immediate straightforward. You can angle it up or down, so you can call out people to trying to mix up their recovery because they don't have a great option on that recovery. Uh, it makes it difficult, especially. The thing that uh, I, I am aware of is that with Pyra, you can snap to ledge better with your upbeat. So you can actually avoid some of the situations that Lewis was being caught in where he's trying to recover with Mithra, and the upbeat isn't snapping to ledge properly, which is what's probably causing some of these early kills. Might be worth sometimes swapping off stage, using some of the air, aerial momentum and upbeat stage to get snapped to ledge, and trying to see what that will see what Lewis can do with this stuff. Sure. Especially with the fact, you know, um, these are like uh, most, most of the times we've seen the offstage, it's been very low knockback situations yeah. where uh, Parsnip isn't getting like, you know, propelled into the blast zone. They're getting caught out without resources. Yeah. So I definitely think I agree with that. That's a uh, nice solid option. Finds a nice throw on the dive kick straight out of the gate. Parsnip with a little bit more control this time. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this from Parsnip. He's, he's kind of already different from, from what we saw from the immediate of part of game one. He's immediately asserting himself here. We're seeing a lot more pressive play. We're seeing a lot more of these quicker options. We're getting the percent, but we're already, I mean, by this time, game one, uh, we'd already had a stock taken. Absolutely. So this is immediately a better response. I'm, I'm loving uh, this sort of more, almost slightly, like the the switch the switch play, I like to call it, where you sort of play this slightly, when he's realizing that he's in that disadvantage, he is playing the safe, he is being, you know, holding that shield, but the moment he sees Nia swinging, he's running at you and he's going. You can never keep your tempo too standard and on form, especially with you know, seeing how good Nia's punish game is. You keep yourself predictable just by having you in a game plan that's like solidly like that. You're just asking to get blown up. The yeah. Parsnip is looking really fantastic. Even though Nia has managed to even up the percent quite significantly, uh, 
there. Just had so much screen control the whole round so far. Beautiful parry, but a bit of a oh. preemptive option with that side beat. Not going to quite be the punch they needed. Love the air dodge. I'm liking the air dodge ledge. Just that's unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunately with the um, I the uh, the shock ball, like ball. <laughs> the name escapes me. It, it can just be ball. It's fine. Yeah, it's. Um, the, the knockback the knockback that move has is absolutely incredible and that that simple there like that no kill flash but when you're sort of halfway up the stage it's gonna kill off top because of the angle it sends you is so absolutely fantastic for uh, Mimmin to kill. Yeah, it's, it's those positionings on the screen where up kills are a little bit tricky to DI, you know, you're so high up the the traditional angles don't quite work the way you want them to. Uh, it's a classic thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm interesting right now. I see Carson sticking with the uh, myth uh, the myth run out. So I'm to try to try and get a kill. Uh, I'm kind of curious if this is no jump. Yeah. Yep. I'm wondering if this is something that uh, he initially realised that maybe the the slow the slower. Sure. Sure. Happens to I, the best it's of us. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to do something very cool and very cute. They got like triple parries, but they didn't parry the one that mattered. <laughs> Uh, trying to go for a not be out shield there, unfortunately fixed it the wrong way, so Mir doesn't get hit by it. Mir is able to push the advantage hit. Oh, very close, but that uh, might be unfortunate. This is some tragic stuff we're seeing from Parsnip right now, yeah. to be completely honest. They didn't even get edgeguard the last time, they just no. fucked it up. The, uh, the benefit of today, I think, is a best of five, so this is 2 0 at the moment, so Lewis does have a chance to come back, he does have a chance to. Uh, to, to keep go to keep going with this, maybe make the comeback. Maybe we see a switch. Maybe he tries to try a different character. He does have those in his pool. He does have access to a pilot. He does have access to a uh, an inkling from Days Gone, uh, and, and also and Meta Knight, which sometimes just pops up and I does just win. The secret is, yeah, never, literally, never count out Parsnip's MK. It will come out at the most random of opportunities, and he is still so yeah. unbelievably good with this character. Yeah, we saw that on Thursday at the Knots Weekly. He whipped it out against Donk and made an excellent comeback, killing as early as 30% against him. And it's still his character. I don't care how long it's been since he's <laughs> actually named him, because it's been literally no, I, years I, at this point, but it is still basically the best. I am, uh, I, I, I am, as much as I enjoy watching his uh, Pyramithra, I, I am I am also on that same level. I do enjoy the... Uh, there he is. I enjoy, enjoy the Meta Knight. And here we have... Doing it for the fans. The fans are up. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the war-torn Meta Knight with the scar right down the middle. It's actually, it's actually Galactic Knight. Uh, ah. It's a different character. It's a different character. Uh, the more you know? Yeah. So, what does this character have? This character immediately has better recovery. That is the one thing that is apparent in this in this change, is now Lewis has better option, better more options to recover, which is a, a large part of what was failing in the last couple of two games. Yes, you are, it's very hard to get edge guarded as NK. You have so many jumps, and then you also have all of your specials. Pretty much everything you do in the air and on the Mii button can be used as a recovery. Yeah, exactly. Uh, We're seeing a little bit more of an even start here. Lewis just kind of Feeling himself into it, obviously, he's, I've just played two games with, with Pyramithra, so he wants to feel into his Meta Knight. While it is definitely the pick he's been, he's the character he's played the most, he's obviously going to want to feel himself into the game, get a feel for what Nier is going to approach and see how Nier's game plan is going to change with the Meta Knight, uh, and then adjust from there accordingly. Nier, uh, Lewis, is, Lewis is, is a player that definitely is very adaptable. Uh, he will he, he will look at see how you're playing and, and adjust around it. He can sometimes can go these two games down and immediately make a comeback, and we'll see what he can pull out today. 100% uh, agree. Pasquim is definitely a long set player. You know when you've been yeah, when you've been as when you were as dominant as you were in your local team as Pasquim was, you get very good at best of five. So yeah, exactly. The one who gets to play all of them. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely where they shine the most. Um, so it's definitely not over. Um, even though that once again they're the first one to drop a stock three games in a row here. Um, it feels, a little, it feels a little bit more comfortable than how they're moving against, although Nia's ledge here has been absolutely divine. Mm. This could be a huge opportunity, though. Doesn't catch that air dodge, even though they were reading it. Unfortunate lack of positioning. There's that back row that's caused so many kills. Oh, I like that. That's something that uh, Nia hasn't actually done so far. He's using the up B and actually going for an option off it um, to, to follow up and try and call out the fact that Lewis could go high. Uh, Lewis could avoid that. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm like, I am liking Lucy's play here. It, oh, he is a stock down, but I'm not opposed to the way he's, he's approaching this. I think maybe slowly but surely uh, we'll see him. Uh... Oh my god, he just went for it. That's the thing, that, that covered roll as well. Uh, I don't know how huge Min Min Min's get up attack is, but if that wasn't on the cards for India's head, that covers so many options. You yeah. might even roll backwards though. It's, it's also the Lewis special. 
the just Iron Man light. I'm going F smash you. That move is quick and it does just kill. Well, it's down smash. But <laughs> oh, there's a down smash? <laughs> yeah, oh, that was what made it even more surprising, to be honest. Yeah, I thought very, it was, very I was convinced coverage. it was forward smash. With, when it kills, it feels like forward smash. <laughs> so, you know what? I get it, I get it. But you know, one stock left potentially on Parsnip's uh, life in this first set of a tournament. Yeah. Uh, could be a little bit of a dicey situation. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Hopefully, I would. I mean, I always love to see a, a nice uh, Lewis off the top combo getting a few of those up airs in. Maybe he might try and find one here. Just needs to find it in right now. Nier is doing incredibly well to keep Lewis out. Yeah, all oh, the coverage is fantastic from Nier. Really doing some beautiful stuff, keeping this incredibly fast mobile character at bay so efficiently. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, this is looking a little more dicey, but Lewis only needs to find a couple of strings. Maybe he gets it off this. He's doing strings. And a wonderful back nice. air. Still hasn't touched the ground in a little while. Goes off stage, looks yeah. for the Nair. Nice, excellent pressure. Nothing really that Nier could do there. If nope. Nier tries to recover, he most likely gets caught by Nair there. This is an incredible position for Lewis. Lewis has pushing with momentum right now. A beautiful parry, does down tilt the wrong way, doesn't get the turnaround angle. So, but that call. Omega break go. shuffle loop, catching the second hit very late. Yep. I said, pass it. Puzzle just needs to play this slightly defensively. He just needs to look for a small in. Up that air, up it, air, up air, up. Forward air, let's go! He is actually the best. I love him so much. That's my husband right there. <laughs> I can't even make that joke. <laughs> uh, incredible clutch comeback. Shades of frag socks gone by many moons ago. <laughs> and I mean, that's, 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 that mean, that's passing for Meta Knight. That's what we've seen him do for years at this point. Yeah, it feels like cheat. It's like, it's like we know the script, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm not saying he's winning the set out of, out of that. But, like, we're all like, yeah, I can do that. You don't know about game three, passing it, game four, passing it, and game five, passing it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if he could just win sets. But, you know what? It's the second best thing, right? <laughs> uh, you get to see more, more passing it, which is never a bad thing. It's a handsome man. <laughs> But not to discredit Nier by any means. This no, is still entirely Nier's set. Yeah, so this far. is still advantage Nier right now. He's still 2 1 up. Still only needs to win one game. Parson does have to win two. I think even beyond that, like it's honestly safe to say that Nier has been in control of this set. Even though that because you know, that was a huge comeback for Parson. Yes, that wasn't yeah. a dominant performance. That was a really, really no. incredible couple of picks. Yeah, that was that that is that is what momentum does. That's what uh Parson does well with this game. He's so took that second stock and immediately was trying to get, you know, those small hits. No way! Yeah, but they live! Good, excellent. Yeah, Incredible stuff. Yeah, good, good. Oh, okay. You're actually catching the arm out the extended little bit of hitbox. It's not too much, but there is, is there. There is a little bit there. Yeah, no, I, I, I like, I'm liking Lewis's patient a bit more on ledge here. He's not immediately getting up. He's not immediately pressing buttons. He's just trying to hold up and wait and responding to Nia rather than making Nia, letting Nia take the first move and like, suffering for it. Ooh, F-Tilt 1, I love the cheeky stuff we're seeing. Parson trying to catch Nia, going for some kind of defensive options, panic air dodges, stuff and like, and just trying to rip them apart from that, but Nia staying firm. Yeah, no, I, 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 I want to see more. Nia has, we, we saw the first two games, oh, great f -match. yeah, that yeah. f is quick out shield. It's basically, it is an out shield option for, for Mimin, and it's incredibly strong. Get that in there. Nice drag down, nice up B. Not quite gonna find its mark in getting a kill and a oh, catastrophic tries in this play. Lewis, please. Tries to read the roll through to get the jab and unfortunately near stacks holds their ground and uh, gets but doesn't get much off it to be fair. Got Lewis off off stage for a little bit, but back back on the stage. If there is one thing I think that is really keeping Parsif in this set right now is that Nia has really been struggling to find punishes on the teleport. Yes. Beautiful back air to uh, even things out here, just 30% between them. But Nia has not been able to find these hits on the teleport. And it is a really tricky thing because you have to block because that uh, teleport hit is so huge. Yeah, it, it, it's, yeah. But Parsif has been doing a lot of empty teleports, which are so hard to punish uh, yeah, I, outside I'm, of preemptive stuff. Yeah, I'm wondering if, if, if it is sort of a move that Nia is... is uh, I just don't familiar with and is unsure how to punish it right now. Especially with Min Min. Min, Min uh, while the options are great, I'm wondering if, if he's sort of looking at it thinking, I'm not really sure what to do other than if he's getting on the shield with the grab like that. But obviously Pasco is doing it to recovery. But it's slightly dicey for Lewis, but not good. with that tonight. You have to remember they still have drill rush, they have shuttle loop. These things go for so far. That's gonna be a dash attack. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> up air, up air, That's up air. Huge opportunity. 
Gray, great string. We're loving this from. Ooh, oh, is that dead? straight under the stage. You cannot tether from there. There's a whole bit of Pokemon saving between them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. This is this is what um, we were. This is what we were saying this earlier. Is this is what this is what Meta Knight does. It's the first stock lead Lewis has had this set. Yeah, but it gets in there. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's the sort of thing that um, that's sort of thing you can do against Min 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 Min's recovery in similar fashion. While the tether is good if you have the access to it, if you've got someone <laughs> to trigger off stage, no way. <laughs> Yo, he's a run player. He's just a masher. <laughs> okay, to get the edge. No, not quite. Ooh. Tries to go for the spike on the down there air. Not quite. Twenty percent on you. It's not going to yeah. much. I guess we can't like Meta Knight. I'd say it's a bit more trying to psych people out. Yeah. Maybe catch them, you know, panicking rather than actually trying to kill them with that. Yeah. Again, anyway. still just not able yeah, to find no, a hitbox. Do it. Can't do anything up there. Possibly literally teleporting right into them without a hitbox. And here is just not responding. Oh, tries to go for it. That was a very, very safe hit. Oh, oh nice falling down to avoid the laser. Near is looking pressure it. That's that not gonna kill. Really didn't kill. That really looked like it was a death sentence then and there. Yep. No not punishing it there. again. The dash attack doesn't find its mark. And the back okay. end, no double jump. Needs to finish it. Excellent Incredible stuff. Start. We have a game five situation just like that. Parsnip trying to keep us guessing no matter how long it takes. Why does he not just play MK? <laughs> Does make you wonder. Does make you wonder. I've been wondering this for like four years. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, from various conversations, I think he worries that there's, there's definitely times, and we haven't seen it too much actually, but there's definitely times where he feels that the character doesn't actually function as well. Yes. And obviously then you they have are a, a lot weaker. Than yeah. You, you you then have a top tier in, in Pyre and Rift Pro, and when you've got a character like that and you, that you have put in some time, and you've got to think, well, the thing but is though, you s we say he says. When he's out of a set, he says oh, he doesn't have faith in MK. Yeah. He doesn't think he can do it. Then he does What this. happens when he goes down two games? He goes MK. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Broken. Maybe it might be that he just you know, kind of feels like he needs to have those download, day, download games to get those Meta Knight games. I, well, I, I wonder if he um, reverse psychologies himself. Yeah, I have no faith in Meta Knight. And then goes into the game and he's like, yeah, I'm going to destroy you with this character. Don't underestimate comfortability. Cause <laughs> He's been playing this character for like nearing a decade at this point. Yeah, he's so so comfortable on it. He's just I, and the thing is, is it, it, it's actually a really good character that covers the weaknesses of Pyramithra in that off stage, which is exactly what you want against Mimin because when with the pressure Mimin threw away, okay, I was really hoping that was not going to be an immediate kill, but it would have been so sick. It would have been so nice from Lewis if he managed to get it. Catches a jump, but it is MK, so it doesn't matter. But that might that just might. we might have to see a drill rush. Yep. Yeah, it still gets backstage. Lovely this stuff. This is what we're saying. Anyway. MK covering that aspect so nicely. You brought it, you, like you said earlier. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> why? That's unfortunate. I don't know whether he missed. Don't know if uh, pass it miscounted the jumps there, or did he get the height that he wanted to do. Was hoping the up B would cover, would get him backstage. Definitely not the start you want in game five, though. Mia, happy to take that. I yeah. like that. They they weren't. They, they they kind of. It feels like Nia maybe is kind of accepted. They're not going to get the teleport punishes, so they're now trying to cover what pass does after the teleport. Which yeah. Is the classic thing, right? Yeah. I know. I do. I do like that. I do actually like that. They've they've adapt, uh, sort of adapting that into their play, being like, okay, well, you know, pass is going for the teleports, and I've not really come up with an option for it. So now, as you said, anticipating anticipating it, and that is working for them, and they're getting huge percentages. They're all they've, they've managed to lap uh, lap the percentage here and. Maybe Lewis gets something here. Very yes. much nice. The classic falling into the rising bear is so have so much space. Uh, so low to the uh, last zone. It's very, very hard to escape that once you've committed to that low recovery, psychologically. Yeah, yeah. and, and th this is the sort of thing is, is again, Min Min doesn't have these options and is going to struggle to get back to the engine. Parsnip is actually really abusing that, and it's great to see that that is what he's adapting into his play. He's just saying, okay. <laughs> oh my god, he's The so patience. Cool. The patience. Perhaps a great play from Parsnip right now. Can he get the percentage? Can he get a kill right now? That is the big question. Parsnip needs it right now. Yeah, if they can get a cheeky stock lead in this situation by getting some kind of fa uh, fun like situation off of a dash tech, but it's looking a little bit dicey. The fire uh, is still on. I might have to use Slide be here. Huge. Nice. Yep. Up smash, not quite in the right position. What is this drill rush? Not what you need. That's an up. Poor angle on the shuttle loop. This is not looking too I, I did the see it. Right I saw a look on the face. I think that might have been a miss input, unfortunately. Easy. But that's yeah. going to do some damage. Yeah, as easily a shuttle loop, I think. Yeah. Lots well, of shield shield damage on this. Uh, I would say that shield is getting awfully low. Lavinia has to be careful. 
Alistar. Parsnip still, you know, this is a very high percent situation for Nier. If they can find this stock, they can even things out really efficiently right now. But they do have to kind of do it in the next few interactions, because if Nier can get some good solid hits in, they could start to pull away from Parsnip. Yeah, I did, I did actually like that. Um, Parsnip was actually where the Nier was. Oh my god, he goes for the down and gets it. We're on last stock's game five here right now. This is absolutely incredible play from both these players. We were just talking about how Nia's adjusted how they were dealing with the teleport. So then Parsnip adjusting in turn, being like, okay, well, I'll just start swinging with yeah. it. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I did like the interaction I saw there a moment ago. Um, Nia has been going for these Ooh. down airs, actually. Ooh, I thought he was going to get a reset it's on the very down there. Roll. This is looking really, really nice from Parsnip. They're looking very uh, up and alive right now. Gets a that punish grab. on that throw. This could be huge. Oh, that's it. Not quite. Not quite. Goes the wrong way on the down tilt. That's a throw off the stage. This could be everything. Oh. Just wait so patiently. Oh, oh my, my god. god he's <laughs> oh, these two players, the nerves would be high right now. Which one has the composure to close this out? Parsnip is playing it so carefully, though. They're so slow and how they're positioning themselves. Really, really intentional, but that could give Mimim the edge in order to kind of you know, find the spacings they need. These all these jumps that I love. Oh, he's getting. Not the dash attack hit you need, the up angle one. No. With throw, no punish, get, punish on it. it. Oh my oh, lord! I love that. Clinking with the button as the adder. That can be on everything. Gets it back. Let's, oh, let's go. go. Absolutely. That's my husband. Gorgeous play from Parsnip there. Fantastic composure. Great reads. Everything you need in that final that final stop situation on a game five. That's play what Meta Knight. What is wrong with you? Get it together. Fantastic set. How is that the first one of the day? You I don't know. You sort of sit down and you sort of think, you're sort of looking at uh, Min Min and you're looking at Pyramid and you're thinking, this might not be the most entertaining set. And you get that at the end with the swap to Meta Knight. Lewis just absolutely fully aware.